Hello everyone, till now we have done with play piano. In today's video, we are going to solve seal and reset. So copy the problem code, open codef id, write your practice section, paste the problem code, select. So in this problem, we are provided with a menu card. Prices of menus are in form of 2 raised to i minus 1, where i is from 1 to 12 which means prices are from 2 to 0 which is 1 till 2 to 11 which is 048 what we are needed to find is number of minimum number of menus whose total price is exactly p we have already solved similar problem with the smallest number of nodes let us open it in this problem there was a value of nodes 1, 2, 5, 10, 50 and 100 and sum of values n as an input while in our problem, there was a price of minus which was 1, 2, 4, 8 till 2, 0, 4, 8 and p as an input. Let us check the approach that we had solved earlier. So, view. Approach was such that maximum value of node must be used first and then smaller ones. That means your 100 was the highest value. So, first we are checking whether the sum was greater than or equal to 100 or not. If the condition fails, then we check for second highest number, whether n, uh, some n was greater than 50. If again it fails, then for uh, next higher number, and so on. Till we get the uh, n greater than or equal to the num uh, that upcoming higher number. As soon as we get uh, that condition uh, to suppose n greater than or equal to 10, then what we do is, first we add it to the number of nodes which was storing in answer, and subtract the value of uh, that node which is 10 from the sum. Similarly, in our problem, we will start checking from 2048 till uh, 21. So, if we see in this problem, there was nothing common between 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 100. But between these numbers, prices of values we see the common thing is their power of 2. So, uh, here we had no option other than using if else if letter. Here we can use a for loop where I would be changing from 11 to 0 by decrementing 1 by 1 value of power. So let us start with our approach. So first we will have declaration of variables which is p for input, x for storing the value of uh, power of 2s, i for decrementing the uh, power, value of powers from 11 to 0 and answer for storing the number of many. So first thing we will have input to scan f percent d m percent p then we will initialize answer equal to zero number of menus next step is to have the powers which is from 11 till greater than equal to zero we will decrement at each step what we will show in x is power of 2 raised to 2 raised to i next step is if the sum uh, sum here it's the total price so if p is greater than or equal to x then what we, are, we want we will be doing is answer plus plus that we will add it into the menu and also decrease the total price by the value of that x if we see once the uh, once this condition is true and greater than 100 again if we uh, while n is not equal to 0 again it will check, check the same condition again if whether it is true or not if it's again true, we will execute again its code. Similarly, uh, we have to do for uh, each power of i. So instead of your if condition, here we will do y condition. While p is uh, price is greater than or equal to the uh, the value of that menu or the price of that menu, will keep on incrementing the number of menu and decrease the total price. At end, we would left with answer equal to number of menus. Actually, the minimum number of menus with us. So let us print print f percent this lesson answer. So these are the test cases. Let us run. So if we see two one eight two, this was sample input that we have used, and it's same output that we have got. So let us submit it. Can we optimize it more? Let us do some changes and optimize it. So, first thing, we know that uh, when total price become equal to zero, 
then there would be no chance to have any other menu so we can tightly break the loop in between only so if total price become equal to equal to zero we can break it another thing that we can optimize is this while loop this while loop if we see it should count that x could uh, the, uh, the price of that menu could be by it using uh, the less than or equal to the total price p so it can be said that p divided by x gives it that total number of count of menu for that price using less than or equal to p so let us have a new variable c that will store this for c times you would be doing answer plus plus so it would become answer plus equal to c and also c times you are reducing x so we will do p minus equal to c times x let us run so it's same answer let us submit it wow it's right